Hello my dear friends welcome to Fortron Academy my name is Harshwats and today we are going to talk about 16 essential terms you must know to learn PBA programming part 1 so this video will be available in two parts and each of the part has eight essential terms you must know to learn the VBA programming so this is a part one let's go forward and talk about the point to be discussed in this video in the part one in which we will talk about the essential terms to know about VBA programming in the first point we will tell you about what is VBA in the second point we will tell you what is macro the difference between macros and VBA in the third point we will talk about what is VBA code in the fourth point we will talk about what is module in the fifth point we will cover what are procedures and routines in the sixth point we will talk about what is statement in the seventh point we will talk about what are objects and the last point of this video of part one about essential terms to know about VBA programming in the eighth point we will talk about what are classes so let's go forward and start with the first question what is VBA as you already know VBA stands for visual basic for applications VBA is a programming language which was developed by Microsoft and is included in the most products that are part of Microsoft Office. So what does this exactly mean? You may think of programming language just as you could think of pretty much any other language. English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Mandarin, Chinese code, etc. A language has several functions, but for purpose of this Excel VBA tutorial for beginners, I focus on one aspect, that is communication. Programming language are slightly different in that you generally don't use them and communicate with a human being, while all the earlier language which I talk about like English, Spanish and all these foreign languages you use with speaking with a, and communicating with a human while VBA you use a programming language such as VBA to communicate with a computer more particularly you communicate instruction to the computer in other words we can say visual basic for application is the language that allows you and me to communicate instructions to Excel so this is a basic perspective of what is VBA now we will move on to the second question of this video which is what is macro the difference between macro and the VBA Excel macros and visual basic for application are not exactly the same thing although they are closely related and sometimes people use them interchangeably as explained above VBA is a programming language which can be used in several programs that are part of Microsoft Office such as Excel PowerPoint Word and Access so you could understand that VBA is a programming language so VBA is a programming language while a macro is not a programming language usually defined as a set of instruction you use to automate a Microsoft Office application such as Excel. So I hope you understand that VBA is a programming language while Micro is not. Macro is a set of instruction that you give in an Excel to program or automate a process. So what you give an instruction is Macro and what you type in that Macro is the programming language. So you can see VBA and Excel Macros are have a very close relationship but strictly speaking they are not the same now we will move on to the third question of this video an essential term you should know for VBA programming that what is VBA code this is one of the biggest question that you should know this is where it may start to get a little bit confusing but please bear with me when working with VBA you execute VBA code this VBA carries out action task. You can generate the VBA in one of the two following ways. 
by recording certain action you perform in excel workbook by using a macro recorder or certainly by writing the vba code in a visual basic editor so this is the basic example of a vba code so this is what vba code look like so you can execute this function just by recording using a macro in my previous videos i have told you how to use the macro recorder and in my upcoming videos i will tell you about writing the vba code using the visual basic editor so you must know what is the vba code before going into in detail perspective of all these things now we will move on to the fourth point of the video and fourth question so what is module in broad term a module is equivalent of a vba container in other words it is where excel exactly stores the vba code if you have seen a cargo ship like this is a ship container this is a cargo where a lot lot of ship containers are available so if you have seen a cargo ship or port or if you have been ever involved in shipping you may have seen intermodal containers such as one in the images below so you can see here these container are used for among other purposes storing goods so in excel the equivalent of intermodal container are the modules and the goods that are stored in the pieces of a vba code so you can see like this is a green container and it contains certain goods within our port so in excel also in vba also there are microsoft microsoft excel objects and sheet and workbook within that workbook we have a module and within that module we have the module so we have this module which contains our goods and our coding for particular one vba code or you can say for one automation so you can check out this module are stored in excel workbook you are currently working on in project explorer which is one of the section of a visual basic editor standard modules are also referred to simply as modules these are the other type of modules in addition to standard modules modules are made out of procedures so you may imagine the next logical question is so the next logical question is what is procedure and routine so a procedure is basically the part of a computer program that perform a particular task or action so you can see here i have just screenshot the particular vba code which is a basic vba code i have used in more technical terms i can see a procedure is a block of a statement that is enclosed by a particular declaration statement and an and declaration vba supports two type of procedure sub procedure which perform an action in excel the declaration statement that begins with a sub procedure is sub so you can see here this is a declaration statement or this is an end statement you can see a sub in starting of it while you can see the sub in end of it that means the declaration statement has sub in starting while the end statement has sub in the end for example the following piece of vba code is a sub procedure notice the opening declaration statement the matching and declaration statement and how the block statement is enclosed by these two declarations so you can see all the encoding all the coding or you can say a vbo code had vba code happened in between these procedure these sub so function procedure which carry out calculation and return a value sub procedure do not return a value but function procedure can perform certain activities before returning a value i hope your this part have been cleared and now we will move on to the sixth point of this video that in which we will talk about what is statement so a statement is an instruction in some context you can distinguish two main type of statement so what is statement like in earlier part in the just before this in which i have told you what is procedure and routine i have told you about the n sub and the starting sub 
but in here we will talk about the statement so there are two type of statement what is declaration statement second is executable statement so the above one you can see the image of this this is a declaration statement and while the lower end this is a executable statement so what is the difference between them so declaration statement are as implied by their name used to declare something such as a variable or a constant like when defining you what a sub procedure is i showed you an example of declaration statement in this particular case this declaration statement is the opening sub statement which declares the sub procedure named best excel tutorial so what is executable statement then so this is my declaration statement so the executable statement are the statements that specify that a particular action should be taken so what is like uh declaration statement states that the thing i should be done within a best excel tutorial while what is to be done so you declared it that something needs to be done but you haven't told what things are should be done so that comes under a executable statement like you select you color you auto fit you write something in it you gave a pattern you gave a shade and all these things come in an executable statement so you can read in this executable statement are statements that specify that a particular action should be taken the best excel tutorial macro used as an example above has several executable statement for example the statement active cell select specify that excel should select the current active cell so as i've told you executable statement runs a program declaration statement state that we should run a program within this workbook or this sheet so now we will move on to the seventh point of this video that is none other than what are objects so what are objects as you have seen above procedure perform task or action you may wonder what is the object of those tasks in other word on what is excel performing the particular function so the answer is objects like if you go in back about 20 50 seconds i have told you about the procedure routines and everything so you may be confusing that what is happening and on what thing that is happening so the thing that it happening on is the object so consider english grammar in regular english an object usually has something done to or with it in real life you may find object anywhere including a laptop that you use to work on excel in visual basic application things are not very different why this is because why most vba code works with and manipulates object in the context of excel vba you can work with more than 100 objects the following are some example of objects in visual basic for applications it can be workbooks it can be worksheet it can be cell ranges cell cell fonts all these are the objects on which the procedure routine and everything works on so this is the basic concept of what are the objects now we will move on to the last point of this video that is none none of the least what are classes so i have told you about vba vba code and everything routine uh, procedures objects and everything but in the end you must also know what are the classes although classes is not what you use as a beginner but it will come as you upgrade within a vba co programming so as i mentioned above classes define objects and more particularly classes defines the following aspects of an object which is a variable property procedure event so you can say a cluster of objects that executed and define the following things are variable properties procedure and events as a consequence of the above you can think of an object as instance of classes or think of classes as blueprints so if you have a house it is object while its blueprint is called classes for example let us assume you run a company that produced roll film cameras that company had a basic blueprint or technical drawing 
that blueprint defines the characteristics of each role film cameras to be produced and is therefore an equivalent of a VBA class. Once the company has a blueprint, it can produce the actual cameras. The actual produced cameras are equivalent of a VBA project or oh, sorry VBA object. Class are slightly advanced Excel topic and therefore you are unlikely to work much with them at the beginning but just but just in case now you know what a class is and how it is different from and related to an object. Like in the end I will give us easy example like you have a home like the home you live in it has a pillars the pillars you can say is our classes while the home is an object so what constitutes your object is the classes so i hope it has been cleared and the 16 out of 16 eight essential terms for the vba programming has been covered in this video i hope each and every point of it will be cleared now you can go to my second part of this video and continue your learning for the vba programming so with this point i am going to end this video and i hope you all queries have been cleared and if not kindly write us in comment section and we will surely get back to you and if this video helped you in any way kindly drop us a like and don't forget to subscribe our channel for amazing videos in future till then have an amazing and good day